Hi all, this is a quick uh, how-to for editing your feature attribute table uh, for accuracy. Uh, sometimes you don't need to work with the spatial component, you can just work on repairing the feature attributes themselves to clean up your data. Uh, so let's get started on our lights here. Okay, so in this case I've got our lights layer on, uh, if I just show you quickly here under properties we've got a definition query set here that says name equals light and remove equals K okay and all I've done is double click to sort our metadata by the string field here okay a fetch attributes and we can see that I've got a number of light features here that have no no uh, asset code or no information additional information if I highlight them, we can see that they're sort of spread all over the place. There's one here, there's one up here. So, you know, we could, if you wanted to, you could go in there and have a look at this one and look at the light features that are around it, see whether it's worth adding your own metadata string to it. Uh, I wouldn't trust that because we've got these light features that are outside of the park gardens and we've got, you know, random poor spatial locations. Uh, so what I'm going to do is show my selected features and then calculate the field and simply set them to remove. So an R in there for remove, apply, okay. It's just a little slow because I'm recording my screen. and you'll see that they disappear from here. Okay, that's fine. And so now those are removed, so we can go back to viewing our entire table and we can sort it in the opposite direction. And so now we've got a number here of others that have unknown written in. Now unknown wasn't a, an, an official one, no code is the official. So let's have a look at those, see where they are, okay. So you can see once again, if we just zoom out a little bit to get them. Okay, so in this case, the unknowns seem to be, zoom to, a stack of, oops, they're not all highlighted, just give me a second here. Shift to there, unknown, zoom to. Yeah, so we've got them all together and we can see them here as groups of lights. Now you could straight up remove them and say well you know they're, they're wrong uh, but it looks like they might be lights that have been collected by other people in here um, and so we'll go and have a quick look at one of these pairs of lights okay and if we say show selected we've got two features one's written as unknown and the other is as no code uh, in this case it's likely that there is a light there and the light may not have an asset code on it things that you could do to check. You could uh, load your near map and air photo in and have a look at it. Is there a, a shadow there that indicates that there is actually a light post? Okay. If you decide to keep these, then you'll use the uh, R for repair and you'll give them their own light code in here. So in this case, I'm going to say that actually, yes, this is a light that I want to keep. And so I'm going to edit this and say garden one for garden one light and I'm going to say because this is close garden one light and now I'm just going to say that these are repaired okay and so now we could move on and have a look at the other little groups that are around here have a look at this one so now we've got three different people who've looked at this location seen a light okay and all said that it doesn't have a code okay so we're probably pretty confident that this is also really a light uh, but doesn't have an asset code. So in here we will edit. So we'll just say garden2 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 okay and these have been repaired okay and so now you'll see that they'll show up different and if we refresh our layers here it will bring them up as discrete 
white features. And there we go, so now they have their own colors. All right, next uh, thing to show you is editing for uh, other errors that you might have. So if we have a look down here, we will be looking for things like this. So we've got a lot of light codes of uh, 08833 and we've got a 08831 light okay so that suggests that there might be a just a typing error so if we highlight those and say zoom to we can see actually here's our cluster okay we've got a, an outlier over here got an outlier over here and another outlier all the way over here okay so in this case we're going to want to go through these ones and identify shift there okay and now we're going to just show those ones okay so now we want to identify this one now if it's inside this cluster it's actually going to help us but if it's outside of the cluster we can probably get rid of it so if we click the highlight we can see that it's all the way out here okay all the rest of the records for this one are in a cluster here so we're going to just mark this for removal and uh, then we we'll probably want to check for these other features this one and this one look like they probably contribute to error more than assisting us okay so we're just looking through these four okay now we've just got that one highlighted it's gone from yellow it's now yellow we will mark that as a remove okay and then we're going to look for that other one they're all within our cluster as we'd expect okay just checking through them and there it is so here's the other one that's spatially inaccurate here so we'll just mark him for removal okay